Hi, my name is James D'Souza and I'm a psychology teacher. Hi, I'm Willem Vanderhorst, a brand strategist. And this is our season wrapper. Yeah. I really like the idea of a, the teaser. What do we call it? No, the, the opener and the wrapper. Yeah. This is our season three wrapper. Our season three has been about career. And we're taking some time to reflect on, this is a relatively short episode, to reflect on what three things we've learned from engaging with the theme of career, our common references, and our questions. So three things. Thing number one was... What was the thing number one? You <laughs> said it. It was so good. I did. Uh, thank you. Because we just did it before recording, trying to, try to figure out exactly what we were wrapping up. But before we go there, there's just one mention I wanted to make about the fact that we thought we were going to do 10 episodes. And oh, I yeah. think we announced we were going to do 10 episodes. We did. When we're finishing with seven, really. Uh, however, a lot of the stuff that we cover around career are questions that we have talked about in the first two seasons, mm. uh, answering questions from your pupils and my students. So a range of questions coming from what 15 to 22 or 25 year old students. That's right. Yeah. Uh, tended to be quite a lot about studying and about careers. So if you go back to the first two seasons, there's a lot about that as well. Mm -hmm. Now, I think that the main three, like three takeaways, sort of in order. One was, and this goes very much back to the common media references. So if you haven't watched mm -hmm. the videos or read the article of Tim Urban, uh, the first one goes very much to this, to, to the enormous value of stopping to think about what it is that you mm -hmm. want and what it is mm -hmm. that you're doing when it comes to career, honestly, when it comes to anything, but <clears throat> to think about what it is that you want. Uh, and so that's the Alan Watts, literally, what do you desire? That's his mm -hmm. video. That's all about what it's about. Uh, the the um, how to pick your career that actually fits you from Tim Urban in the Wait But Why podcast uh, uh, the way but why blog is very much about that what is driving you and to consider to stop and think what are your drives what are your wants mm -hmm. what are the things like and what are the hidden drives as well like do you want to be a doctor or is it your dad wants to be wants you to be a doctor all right even if your dad wants you to be a doctor do you really want to be a doctor or mm. anything else to think about your career uh and I would add to this because uh, this is in light of uh, I'm in the moment where my students are looking for internships starting January, February. And uh, so I'm getting a few questions and uh, from students and I'm having a few conversations at the moment with them. Mm -hmm. The students and anybody is human tend to like drown in the thimble and the thimble you're drowning in is hypotheticals. Uh, yes, so very good to think about what you want but don't dwell on hypotheticals so which the, i think the, the, the joke from to... i heard from uh i i caught back uh professor scott galloway's podcast which i love prof g podcast and he's also on a pivot with kara swisher uh, he's a professor of marketing at nyu stern i like a lot of what he has to say and i've mentioned him before just yeah i just realized that he had another podcast out anyway there's a point where he's ranting because he had the same thing of his open hours and a student comes in and says, well, I have this question. I'm not really sure if it, take, it should take a job at Facebook or Amazon. He's like, well, do you have offers for both? No, but he's like, well, just get away from my office. Don't waste my time. You don't have offers from either of them. So yeah. stop spend, just stop wasting time on that. Yeah, deal with reality. Yes, it does. so spend time looking at what you want. And that is, to a certain extent, definitely just like, you know, blue sky thinking, thinking out there. But don't spend too much time thinking about like, what if, because you don't have the situation and we're going to wrap up with the last 30. It'll make sense. Did you want to add something to that point? Yeah, I was going to jump into our third takeaway, but I don't think I should just yet. Exactly. We should not. <laughs> but the, the other thing it does go back to what you're saying is everything we've been talking about since season one about knowing yourself. Yeah, exactly. Better so knowing yourself. Yeah. So we're going to, we're probably going to keep banging on about that one. Yeah. The we second were. thing is, what was the second thing? Do you remember? I can't remember the second thing. It, I remember the me. third one, but not the second I thing. I remember the third one as well. Now this is silly. Okay. It's very funny. So, Sue, so, so we're saying. I know, I know, I know, I know the second one. You got it? Could yes, you? I got it. So the second one is 
because you're going to spend a lot of that time worrying and wondering if you're doing the right thing, because the more you think and the better you think, that's the, we forgot about the first point. The more you think and the better you are yourself, the better you'll be able to orient your career in a, in a direction that satisfies and works for you, mm -hmm. satisfies you, works for you. Uh, now, also, we don't know what life is going to be made of. That's number two. Yeah. The best laid plan of mice and men often go wrong. We uh, don't know the by future. By the poet Robert Burns of Scotland. Uh, we don't know the future, so give yourselves a break. And it's about experimenting in the beginning yeah. of your career. So that's what I've been telling my students about their internships as well. So you want to choose the best option. Uh, and the best option sometimes, or as best as you can figure out, because you don't know in advance, what more often than not is where you're going to be able to have somebody to learn from. Yeah. So a mentor. Yes. A mentor, but you don't always know this in advance. And so the main thing of the second point is don't give yourself a break because we don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. You don't know what life is made of. You don't know how, what you're going to like or not before you do it. And you might like the, the job of your dreams, you might start it and realize you don't like it at all. Or yeah. you might realize that you've done a few years of it and you want to change now. And that joins back with Yuval Noah, Professor Yuval Noah Harari's thing of adapting to the 21st century. Mm -hmm. And that, you know, even if it's not about the 21st century, there's a lot of people after a while, they're like, actually, I want to do something else. Mm -hmm. Last weekend, I was with a friend who left a you know big PR job a year ago to go and make wine in the south of France, and uh, that she's super happy. Um, she enjoyed her career at first. I think she got bored of it and wanted to do something else. But, uh, but yeah, uh, that might be down to the 21st century. It might be down to your life moving on and you finding something that's more aligned with what you want at a certain point in your life. And then the third one, now that you remember it, yeah, so I'm going to do a quick recap before we get to the third one. So the really? should the, we do a recap first after one, the third one because we've already it's only two, but okay. The, I, I think I do think it's worth because okay. I think it will make the third one hit home. So the first one we're saying is take time to think about what you really want. Do you really want it? Who's is it? What you really want, or is it someone else? What are you? What do you really want? Learn about yourself. The second one is you. We don't know the future. Give yourself a break having time to explore isn't have, trying to plan everything out. Isn't always going to work. And it's everything is changing really fast and we, no one knows the future, but really to bring those two things together, the third one, the third insight, which is until you go do something, you don't really know, yeah. which takes courage. So taking action, which I think deals with the idea of what, you said Scott Galloway was saying about dealing with reality until you go do something, you don't know what it's going to be like. Yeah. And to get to whatever you want, it's going to take, you're going to have to take some risks. Hmm. You're going to have to do things that are uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And so, and you know, doing them, it's not about, it's not about thinking anymore. It's about doing, it's about sending applications. Mm -hmm. I've had students ask me, oh, I've, I've had this thing going on with my internship. And I was like, well, how many applications have you sent? Three. I'm like, well, that's not enough. Hmm. Not sent enough applications. Conversely, if you've sent 50 and you don't have any results, then there's something else you need to do. You need to get feedback on your letter and your CV. Something else is going hmm. on. Hmm. Um, but yeah, you need to get into action. To be And you need to ask. So the, this other student was like, the, the internship that was offered was not conform, conforming with what the school ask, was asking. So it's supposed to be a three-month but the company wanted five months or six months. I can't remember. Mm -hmm. And so she got stuck into thinking that's how it was. And so I said, well, ask, ask them to change it. You either ask the school or ask the company or you do both until you find a compromise, mm -hmm. which happened in the end. Oh, wow. And I also oh, said, well, it did happen in the end, but I also that's said, great. well, if it doesn't happen, keep looking. Yeah. Get ready to have, get ready to, to be disappointed. And I say, get ready. You never know what's going to happen when you're disappointed or rejected. But also just keep sending applications. You're not done until you're done. Something can always fall through. Mm. And related to taking action is you don't know where it's going to lead. Yeah. So not our second point, we don't know what, what's going to happen in the future. Until you take action, you can't see what's next, which also links back <clears throat> to the first one of you might plan everything out, but until you start going for it, you don't know what's going to happen. And yeah. it's a whole kind of, and I can hear it in what you're saying. It's a whole kind of interaction between taking action and then refining what you're doing and then thinking and taking action. So it's an ongoing, iterative, reflective 
process. Called life. Yes. Called. And we started the whole season with the definition of career. Mm -hmm. In the first definition, Cambridge Dictionary, the job or series of jobs that you do during your working life, especially if you continue to get better jobs and earn more money. Mm. So that's what our whole season was about. I think the final reminder, and we mentioned it during several of our episodes and also the first and second season, I'm sure it'll come back. This notion of a life well lived in Japanese of Ikigai mm. that does have the notion of money, but not only. There's money is not the only factor. Looking at satisfaction, whether your life is fulfilled, whether you're giving something to the world, whether you're uh, doing something that you're interested in, et cetera, those are all factors that are important in developing and building your career. Uh, and, and I think, I mean, I'm adding something else, but um, there's a lot of pressure. So which that's back to the second point on giving yourself a break. Because we, we and society and your parents and everybody else puts a lot of pressure on fitting the best career. Mm. And it gets heavier and heavier as studies are longer, uh, as student debt can get higher or does, or if you're in the US, it, did, it is for a lot of people. Mm. So you start your life like crippled, crippled with debt, which is t- it's rough. It's really rough. So yeah. Um, so I think that's it for that's it for career. Should we that's go it into for season three. About next season? Next season is we've picked a theme of creativity. Yeah, we're all going to be about creativity. I think it'd be awesome. So that's going to be in the new year, right? We're going to have a couple yep. of episodes to complete the year to talk about the books we've read, to talk about what happened this year that are not necessarily driven by a question. Although, well, the question could be what happened this year or how do you complete the year? Um, but really, we'd love to have your, what are your references on creativity? Do you have books, TED Talks, videos, articles to send to us? You can comment in the video or uh, on the podcast reviews or mm. send us an email or a tweet uh, or something and uh, questions of course questions on creativity questions about creativity so again we'll start with an opener episode we'll choose some common references we'll share that probably in january 2022 yep. and in the meantime please uh you know like and uh comment and uh give us a five-star review if you're listening to the audio podcast subscribe Send us questions at hello at jamesdesouza.com. Hello at jamesdesouza.com. Tell us if there was a button on the Teaching Tangents website, would you send more questions? Yeah, because we're we're all about the questions. We haven't taken care of it. We haven't, not yet. But thank you. Thank you. And happy holidays. I mean, actually, we'll see you before the holidays, but yeah.